Well, this Lenten season at the Church of Ponson Highland, we're focusing on what it means to have an embodied faith in a virtual year. We tend to think of spirituality as somehow existing separate from our physical life, but we are coming to understand the ways the body, mind, and spirit are interconnected and interdependent. So embodied spiritual practices are those that put us in touch with our spirituality and our bodies through our bodies, enhancing the way that our body, mind, and spirit work together and nourish our relationship with God. So today I want to talk about and recommend the practice of writing. Now we could call it spiritual writing or expressive writing. It can be journal writing, creative writing, or inner explorations. Whatever you call it, it is a practice that is really good for us. Now I love the way that Pat Schneider in her book describes writing as a spiritual practice. For she said, all of us live in relation to mystery and becoming conscious of that relationship can be a beginning point for a spiritual practice. For to write about what is painful is to begin the work of healing. To write an image of a child caught in a war is confession or petition. To write grief into a page of lined paper until tears blur the ink is often the surest accents to giving and receiving forgiveness. To write admission of failure is humility, and to be in an attitude of praise or thanksgiving or rage against God or open to one's inner self and just listen, that is prayer. Now you can choose the form of writing that works best for you. If you are comfortable writing by hand, that might be the best way to connect the physical action with your thoughts and your spirit. If you're comfortable typing, then type your thoughts and your prayers and your stories into your computer. And if both of those ways feels too slow for all the thoughts that are coming to your mind, you can try the dictate button on your computer, on an app, in your phone, or speak a text to yourself. But any way that you do it, writing feeds your spirit, it clears your mind, and it brings healing to your body. And Lent is a great time to try out this wonderful spiritual practice. So I hope this gives you some inspiration and do look out for more ideas coming in the weeks ahead.